what's going on so nation it's a movie with movie gaming tv um i was seeing in the comment section of this video that you know santa so was saying showdown's pissing me off and he do a vi video for the first inning showdown so what i thought i would do is i actually have another video planned but i would like to talk to you guys about the first inning showdown and give you guys some tips on how to get it accomplished the only ones that i've done so far are the starter in the first inning i haven't done these yet i do plan on doing these though because they are a good way to get team affinities done especially if you're going after like joey gallo or you know shohei otani i have a video reviewing all of the team affinity cards as well so be sure to check that out if you guys haven't already but here's pretty much how I got through the first inning program. Um, definitely going to want to do it. 100% you're going to want to do it because you get 70 program starts for doing it. Let's go ahead and see if I can look at some of the missions. When I drafted, let's just do a draft. I'll just put 500 subs up there and do a draft. Um, the card I definitely take here is I take Todd Helton. He's got a good swing. That's a lot like kind of like Cody Bellinger's swing. So I take him um, for my first baseman. Uh, the rest of the draft, um, you really need like, this is actually a good way of talking about this. You really need like one good starting pitcher that you want and you want to dra draft a lot of power bats um, and you want to build your bullpen as you go along. So we'll take, I'll take Moose. I'll take as many bats as I can get because there's a lot of missions that are, I think this guy might be a good, that's like a good BR uh, pitcher to be honest with you. Um, I'll take uh, I'll take Chris Taylor, I guess. Let's see who we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and take Wilson Ramos. Probably decent enough. We'll get a decent catcher out of this. Um, and we'll take Byron Buxton. I don't know how many rounds we got left. Two more rounds. We need at least. And Miguel Snow's too good not to take. And then hopefully, oh, we're gonna have. This is not an ideal start. I need to talk about some of these. I think there's one, let's see, slight contact moves when losing, increased pitch break. The ones I like are like, I think it's got like a guy like this, like in the middle for like a, uh, let's see, increased pitch accuracy when losing, contact boost with runners on base and two outs. I don't know, those those aren't too good of ones, but it's from the first thing. Uh, there's one that like boost hits down the middle when pitches are down the middle, anything. And then I can get, uh, any kind of contact boost I can get on pitches down the middle, any kind of contact boost I can get on like one to two strikes. I'm going to roll with anything that helps my hitting is what I'm really going to roll with, especially in the diamond rounds. So go for those for the perks, make sure you go over here and you got to put them on, you got to actually put them on. So make sure you do that. Uh, managing the squad. Honestly, I'd like to have one good starting pitcher and then a couple of good relievers, maybe like three to four good relievers. Um, that could even be like the silver Dylan and the Batances, I would consider like a good reliever. Get a couple of good gold and silver relievers. Get one good starting pitcher. You don't need a bunch of starting pitchers. That's one thing you definitely don't want to get a bunch of because it will let you use that same good starting pitcher every time. So I think I use like Chris Sale later on. Um, that was the one I used, and then I really used, like, Roberto Osuna, and really that Silver Dylan Batantis out of my pen was really good. Uh, you can always forfeit and redraft if you need to. If you have a blue... Oh, it actually canceled out all the missions. But if you have a blue mission... Oh, man, that's too bad, um, because I wish I could have read it. But I, I guess we didn't have too much of a choice anyways. If you have a blue mission, though, you can fail it, and it's okay. Basically, what you're doing is see where it says Final Showdown. Over on the left side, it says 0 to 15. You're basically, the more missions you complete, you'll get a run towards going to the final showdown at the end. So the more blue missions that you can do, yeah, you're getting cards, but you're making the final showdown at the end easier. And what also makes it easier at the end is the fact that you have 20 outs to play with, but the inning keeps going. So it's like if you had people on base, you know, with two outs, and then the inning was the end. Those people aren't on base, but with this 20 out thing, people are always on base. Uh, I'll try not to get too stressed out. There's one mission I remember that you go up against, I want to say Duke Snyder, right? You go up against Duke Snyder and it's like, you got to get, you got to win by three runs before giving up four runs. 
if you need to extend the game, I think it's like you just got to score three runs and you can't give up four runs. If you need to extend the game, I did extend the game in that one. What I mean by that is like I would get one run ahead after three innings and then I didn't, I hadn't hit three runs yet. I was like winning one to zero. So I let them score a run and then I shut them down. Then the, again, I scored another run, but I want, I made sure it was two to two going into the next thing. Then I scored a run to make it three to two, uh, that kind of thing. So you can extend the game like that in that moment. If you lose a moment, it's not the end of the world, to be honest with you. Just move on to the next one. You just gotta, you just have to win the red moments as you probably know. But, uh, those would probably be my tips is, you know, make sure that you get one good starting pitcher. Make sure you get a couple bullpen guys. When you're drafting later on, you know, make sure you're filling in the spots of a guy that isn't that good. This team's actually pretty good, but like the first thing I would look to draft would be like a right fielder because we don't have a good right fielder right now. So I'm going to draft him. You can always, you know, it'd be good to have a good bench batter too. You're going to need a bench batter too a couple times to be on the lookout for that. We don't have uh, just one starting pitcher, like I said. Three to four bullpen guys, you should be okay. You know, just um, just be patient, hit as well as you can. Um, try to use those the perks that are good too. And the most of, I would use all hitting perks, and I would use the one that goes down the middle. Um, I, I can't remember what it's called, but the guy is like almost like meditating in the picture. That's the one I like the most. That one I like the most. There's one that's like zero to one zero. It's like 0 and 0 counts, 0 and 1 counts, 1 and 1 counts, like early in the count boost. I like that one too because I'm kind of trying to do this quick. I'm not really trying to sit there and like have like every at bat, like take every at bat to the max. Like if it's a pretty good pitch and showdown, I'm probably swinging and trying to hit it. Obviously, if you want to take more time, you know, use I, maybe what, what is better advice is use some perks that you're going to be able to fit to your style. I think if I can't get the one down the middle where he's going like this. That I get the one that's like on the outside or on the inside to get a boost. Definitely go with the hitting boost ones. Uh, the whole like being behind and all that kind of stuff. I don't really use those. I don't use the pitching ones unless I like have no other choice but to use the pitching ones. I think I, there's one that's like more accuracy without runners on base. That would be the only pitching one that I would use. I'm trying to think of all of them because there's a bunch of them. I don't know even how I really feel about the whole uh, perks, quirks system being a part of this. Because after a while, it's just like, I'd rather just draft the players. But since they're in there, you definitely want to use them uh, to your advantage. What else is there? Anything that can give you a good contact boost is good. And anything, you know, the early in the count's good. And also just down the middle is good. Because like that's what you want to hit is the pitch down the middle. You get a contact boost. Is gonna go flying out. Um, I think on my team I had like Raul Mondesi. I had jo I ended up getting Joey Gallo in the draft, but eventually you I got like you're gonna be able to build up like a ton of diamonds uh, throughout. I would think too. Kind of, kind of. You're definitely building up a ton of diamonds in the starter one. Uh, in this one, you'll have a ton of diamonds in this one by then. This one was really easy to be honest with you. This one, um, first inning was a little bit more difficult. I think I got to like 15 to nine at the very end of it. So I had to score seven runs, but it was actually pretty easy to score that seven runs. I, I didn't have, I don't know why it just was easy. Um, make sure you get pitches down the middle to crush. Uh, just do your best to get them done. If you guys have more questions or if you guys have any tips, I'd like to like, look at like, let's look at the AL West and just start a draft. Um, let's see what our draft's like in the AL West. Cause I know a lot of you guys are going to be doing this. Uh, you could almost take, uh, you almost say the diamond pitcher here. Um, I might actually, uh, I'll tell you what, I probably would take Joe Adele cause you got power from both sides. I would take Jordan or Osuna. Both of those would be really good. Uh, we'll take Jordan. Um, for this, let's take. Like in this round, let's take like Petit or something. I think, eh, let's see who is good for nines. If anybody does, most silvers don't have a good per nines. Take Petit. Um, we'll take uh, Tom Murphy. I think has uh, he has some power. I'll take this. I'll take Kyle Seager. 
Um, let's see who we get here. Usually Kana has a good power. Yeah, he does take him. Let's see who we get. Uh, out of these guys, anybody like decent? Not really, to be honest with you. Actually, that's not bad at all. This guy's not too bad just because he has 85 70, so we'll take him. Um, let's see. Buyers. Um, uh, I think this is kind of what's pools got. Uh, maybe we'll use pools off the bench versus left-handed pitching. Um, let's see, Cam Barosian. Um, we'll take him, I guess. Inner peace. This is the one I was looking for. I was looking for inner peace. Um, that's that's definitely the one. This is my favorite one to use. De definitely make sure you get inner peace. And let's see. Like any, that's not what I like. The seventh pitch of an at bat is I haven't even seen that one. This is a pitching one I do like though. I like Lone Wolf. That's that's a pitching one I like. So maybe select that one. Got all the goats. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah. So I gave you guys pretty much my draft. Um, as far as what I would go for in the draft, one good start, a good bullpen, lots of power. And then try to get those good quirks. And just try to do your best. Try not to get too frustrated with it. And uh, I hope this helps. I don't, I don't know. This is pretty much what I have on this right now. You guys should use the comment section as like a forum to help other people. I really appreciate that. I love seeing that in my videos. If you guys haven't liked the video, can you guys just drop a thumbs up on there? I'd really appreciate that. Uh, hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.